Hi, I'm Alex from Hack Engineering and today we're going to be doing a little walkthrough of what we do with the BMW N54 block. Uh, it's in for a rebore, we're taking it out to 84.5 mil, so that's a half mil over standard and we're going to be using this VAC Motorsport torque plate. First up, let's go through all the different parts and tools that we're going to be using on the job. So we're going to be using an ARP head stud kit, but it's actually from VAC Motorsport. ARP don't do an official kit for the N54. Uh, there's a couple of different variations out there, you want to be careful which ones you actually actually get there's a few people selling n54 arp head stud kits which are actually chrysler chrysler studs which although they do fit and they're the right thread size m11 they've got a shorter bottom thread and you will see them pulling out when torqued down so you really don't want that so make sure you get the official vac kit they're a proper bit of kit and um, yeah designed to work with this engine as you can see we've got 10 m11 studs 4 m9 studs obviously new arp washers and 12 point nuts to go on the top it will come with an instruction kit to tell you what to torque it down, although we do need to look up what the, what the recommended torque sequence is. So the first thing we're going to do is, obviously we've got our deck face here, is we're just going to go through and clean up all these threads. So we've got an ARP official M11 thread chaser, and we're just going to go through and just make sure that all these threads are in perfect condition to receive the studs. So we're going to go through and do that obviously on all the M11s and then go through and chase them M9 threads as well. Right, so we've gone through and chased all them threads now and it's pretty important that we clean out the bottom of the thread holes. As with any head gasket job or any sort of block work, it's absolutely vital that there's no foreign debris or fluids at the bottom of that hole because when the stud goes in, there's a chance you can compress whatsoever is in there and cause sort of a fracture in the block. So we're just gonna go in there, give them all a good bit of brake cleaner, this was done before we did any work on this at all, but better safe than sorry. That's just going to break down any oily deposits that are in there. So we get our airline and we just go along and we're just blowing any deposits or foreign debris out. The next step is to check that our gasket face, we've already been across this, but we've we've got rid of all the all the old gasket material that was stuck to the face and we're confident that it's all absolutely flat. We've put a straight edge on it and it's all ready to accept that torque plate. So we go ahead, grab our torque plate. It is sided. It will sit on its original dowels, one dowel at either end. So we place that on there like so. The next step is to put all our aluminium spacers on. What these are doing, are these are replicating the actual thickness that the standard head is. So that once we've got them studs in, they tighten down to the correct height. Place all of them on there like so. The next step, we have got our studs. We're just gonna apply a small amount of engine oil to the block side of the stud. Nothing major because we don't want to don't want to cause a deposit at the bottom of the thread hole, and then we're going to go through and tighten them all down just to hand tight. So we'll go through and we'll do that to all the others. So as with any torque plate, it's pretty important that you torque it down to the factory specs and obviously in the torque sequence that's recommended. That's what all these numbers are here, so I've actually, to speed up the process, I've written on the torque plate in which order I'm going to tighten them down in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. So let's go ahead and actually um, get that ARP assembly lube on the nuts and the washers and start torquing this down. As with any ARP hardware, we use the recommended ARP assembly compound. We've got a big pot of it, but the kit comes with a little sachet. This also got a handy brush. If you're doing a lot of this, well worth getting. So we apply a good amount around the threads, on the flange of the nut, and likewise on the washer, head facing washer. Place them on. And start putting them all in. So we'll go through and get all the nuts on and then it's torque sequence time. 
Right, so now all the nuts are finger tight on the studs, so we can go ahead and carry out the torque procedure to get them all down to factory specs. Um, you do get this little bit of paper with the kit, and that recommends 95 foot-pounds on the M11s and 45 on the M9s that are at either end, and that's done in three equal stages, up to, up to 95, so we're going to go 32, 64, 95 and uh, we'll be using this snap-on digital torque wrench. These are really great. Um, we've got a few of them in-house and yeah, we wouldn't, wouldn't be without them. Um, pretty good because it's got a built-in gyro, so it also carries out sort of angle settings. We'll get onto that at a later date. This isn't a product review. So we can then start, obviously, I've labelled them all on there, so we can then go down. And start getting a sore arm. So we'll go through and get them all torqued down. Right, so that's now the torque plate all torqued down onto the block and it's ready to head into the machine shop to be rebored. As we said, this one's going out to 84.5 mil, so it's first oversized, half a mil. And we're gonna be running it with CP Carrillo pistons. These are a fantastic piston, suited for big, big boost and big power. Nice presentation box. Obviously they come with rings. And in here, we've got these pistons, so this will then be bored to suit them to run the clearance, slightly more clearance because of the forced induction and the, the extra power this one's going to be pushing. But um, yeah, they're a lovely, lovely design piston, as you can really see. I hope that's given you a little insight on what we do on the N54 engine. Don't forget to head over to the channel and subscribe. Check out a couple more of our videos, and we'll see you soon.